Hey guys, this is Jacob from Living Healthy Every Day. Since it's around the holidays, I think it's about the proper time to talk about flu seasons coming around, right? Isn't this the time when flu season comes? Well, I wanna debunk the flu for you right now in this video. So, what is the flu? Well, how are they able to predict the flu eight months in advance before it even hits? They are able to predict it. They, they figure out in February, around then, in, in the spring, what the flu is gonna be next fall. Now, that's kind of weird, right? How are you able to do that? And every year, it's a different kind of flu. It's a swine flu, it's the Chinese flu, it's the Russian flu, it's all these different kinds of flus. Scary, right? It's, it's the, the other, other countries are, are coming to attack us. They're bringing their flu to attack us, right? So let's break it down what happens around the time when the most common, when the flu happens, the, the, the period when the flu happens. And that's, what, what they say that is, uh, the end of December, the, the beginning of January is when the flu happens. So what happens around this time? It's November right now. So what happens around this time? What do we do? What do we do at the end of the month? There's this holiday that we eat. And what do we, what do, we do during this holiday? Do we give thanks? Do we, uh, do we just sing Kumbaya and appreciate things and eat just a little bit, eat healthy because we know we're respecting our bodies and we just eat a little bit? No. What we do is we eat extra amounts of food. We eat tons of turkey, stuffing, potatoes, gravy, sugar, and then you're full and you're like, ugh. And someone says pie and you're like, pie? And you eat some dessert. And what do you do the next day? You're, you're for sure gonna be like, hey, it's time to get serious and really work out and I'm gonna start eating really healthy and change my diet and lifestyle around. No, <laughs> who's like that? You're like, well, Christmas is just around the corner. I'll just wait till then, right after Christmas. I'll, I'll start getting healthy and everything. So what do you do in Christmas? Christmas, you, of course, you do the same thing, right? You, you eat healthy, you appreciate things, you cherish your body. No, you eat tons of, <laughs> you eat a roast, you eat something heavy, you eat potatoes, heavy things on your body, deplete your immune system even more. And what do you do the next day? Of course, you're gonna be like, I need to go for a run. I need to start working. I need to get my, my body in tip top shape and eat healthy and eat right. No, New Year's is just a couple days away. I could do it right after New Year's. That will be my New Year's resolution. So you go, what do you do for New Year's, right? You, you, you definitely sing Kumbaya and you definitely appreciate things and you spend all night just uh, meditating and thanking each other and being happy for the New Year's and saying your new goals for the new resolutions for the new years, right? No. <laughs> you stay up all night, you party really hard, you drink lots of alcohol and do drugs and whatever it is you do. And the next day you feel awful. And guess what? You have the flu. What? Where the hell did this flu come from? It definitely wasn't the three times where you depleted your immune system and trashed your body. <laughs> so, that is my theory on debunking the flu. I don't think the flu is real. I think the flu happens when you have an immune compromised system. And that happens quite often in the American lifestyle when we take these three holidays back to back and destroying our bodies. So what can you do to prevent the flu? <laughs> Maybe appreciate your body more during these holidays. So thanks guys. I hope this will some value to you and stay beautiful.